Now coming to this one. Now again, uh, important question that was asked in the uh, INICT and they asked the blocks. So this time they had asked one block, but next time other blocks should be there. So this will be our integration with the anesthesia. What are the different blocks that we can have? So they are asking you to identify the block. So they are giving near the middle canthus. This is typically your nasociliary block, which is uh, uh, given at the level of posterior inferiorly we are going. We are going posteriorly and inferiorly. How much we are going? It is 1.5 centimeter to 2.5 centimeter depth we are going and how much we are giving? It is about 1.5 ml. So you have to remember two things when we are going towards the medial canthus, we have to go about 1.5 to 2.5, 1.5 to 2.5 centimeter and how much amount we are giving is the 1.5 ml. This is your nasociliary blocks. Now we have got different kind of blocks with respect to this. So for this uh, easy thing is that you can remember there is different branches. If you remember these simple branches, then you can easily tell that what kind of block it is. Like for example, if you start from this side, this will be your supratrochlear. So this will be your supratrochlear block and this will be, so this is your supratrochlear and this will be your infratrochlear, right? Then here we will have the anterior ethmoidal. So this will be your anterior ethmoidal nerve block, right? Then if you look near the orbit, this will be your infraorbital. So just by one diagram, you can learn the four different ones. We have the supratrochlear, you have the infratrochlear, then you have the anterior ethmoidal and you have also have the infraorbital. If any of the images is not clear, then don't worry. I'll uh, share the images afterwards also or I'll share the PDF also. Then uh, see this, this is your gray sphenopalatine. So here we have got the sphenopalatine ganglion. So what block here we will be having the sphenopalatine ganglion. So every kind of block you should know with the help of this image. Then we have got the greater palatine. Greater palatine basically this block uh, is the one which is uh, given by the dentist. This block is actually given by the dentist. I think um, uh, by this way you can easily correlate the thing. What is the target area when you are going for the greater palatine? Your target is your maxillary nerve and uh, I think this question can also be asked that which nerve and what is the location where we are targeting. So in cases of the greater palatine nerve blockade, we are actually uh, targeting what? We are targeting the maxillary nerve. We are targeting the maxillary nerve and that too in the pterygo palatine Terigo palatine fossa. We are targeting the maxillary nerve in the pterygo palatine fossa performed by the dentist. So this line is important. Then see, I told you this is your infraorbital nerve. This area will be infraorbital nerve blockade you can give. And then we have got the infratrochlear also. But what they have given, this is your nasociliary block. So here the answer will be a nasociliary. Somebody was saying anterior ethmoidal. Look at the location of anterior ethmoidal. It is near here, nose. It is not near the middle canthus. Near the middle canthus is your nasociliary blockade, right? 